shoved a head frame out of the way, but fortunately they left behind the hoist and some of the other equipment. It's kind of cool on this one, you can actually see the rotting still. It's upside down, I know, but it says, uh, yeah, the light's terrible, isn't it? Well, I know some people really like to see hoists and things like that, so that's pretty cool to see that. It still has the cable on it. Rusted in place. Yeah, you see where that, that bulldozer work is done there? That's where the shaft was, and they just annihilated it. A little bit of ground falling here, but nothing I have to climb over yet, so I appreciate that. Looks like there's a series of ore shoots starting up again up there. Got a bunch of, uh, looks like scrap wood, just tossed back here. I don't see anything of, of note right away. Oh man, I'm gonna start crawling again. So, ore shoots. Oh, I got those native timbers I like. I don't know if there's a technical term for those or not, but they just cut a tree down from outside, whack the branches off, and jam it in here. If you saw that in older mines. Um, when I say natural, I mean it's unmilled. So I don't know if there's a, uh, a technical term for those unmilled timbers or not. But it's interesting. Oh, man. Okay, so... Got ore shoot here. And again, this is one of those situations where they've got an ore pass right here in front of it. It's obviously dumped a ton of material down there given how smooth it is. But they also had a drift lower run back here. So why did they keep dropping all the ore down when they had a drift level right here where they could have taken it out? And a nice shaft station behind me. I don't understand that. It keeps going. Um, this looks a little tricky to get around um, that's probably steeper than it looks on the camera I'll put the camera away scramble over this climb over that pile and we'll have a look at how things look past that it's just shooting from there got this or shoot here speaking of shooting things we just continue with the hole in the ground followed by an or shoot pattern looking ahead I'll keep pushing on and uh, Pick up around the bend. Came from over in that direction, and I'm sorry I'm sliding around a bit. It's hard to stay steady on this surface. There is a, well, more stoping down below us. They essentially hollowed this whole uh, mountain out, and we're just walking through thin little false floors in the middle of this giant hole, essentially. Something kind of interesting here is there's this ore chute here, and we're on top of the ore chute at this point. So here is a better view of the top of the ore chute. We usually see it from the bottom, such as the one behind me right here. Which, well you guys have seen ore chutes before. There's an ore chute right there behind me. This one was loaded from up there. 
And here is how this looks at the top. So a rock right there, it's plugged up a bit right there, but that would have just been pushed down, and sent tumbling down at least 100 feet to the next level below. Looking past that, I see another closed sign and it doesn't look too promising, but I'll get over this crap in front of me and uh, see how it looks. Just climbed over that. You can see we've got more ore shoots back here. Interesting little ramp or slide right there that would have carried the ore over this flatter area here before dropping it down. Things are really not in good shape back here. In fact, they're down right bad. As you can see, pretty sketchy. A lot of stuff is caved back here. There's number five. And it keeps going beyond, so I'll go pick up over there. All right, there's number six. The sign did say closed, they weren't lying. That is it for that. But meanwhile, I'll show you this stuff that's all come down here. It's just pretty bad ground back here. I won't be sorry to get out of this section. And then of course, it just I told you that we're walking through a giant hole or cavity in the earth. And we're just walking on these thin little false floors that are suspended between this giant open space above us and below us. That's what's really going on here. So, go back and uh, check out the other side. All right, I lied. I found a way to squeeze by number six on the side right there. It's not the most comforting place to be. Perch around the edge here. Trying to balance, but I did get us past that point. So, there's looking ahead. Uh, I don't see a seven on that one, but that would be number seven. And you can see the drift keeps going that way. So let me get over the obstacle in front of me here and I will pick up over there. That was last shooting from over there. Of course, I made my way over that. I'm now in this gallery of ore shoots here, which stretches as far back as I can see. So rather than go through each one of these, I'll pick up back down there. All right, a lot again, because this is kind of interesting. I noticed on the way. It's number seven. I was shooting over by that one a minute ago. Got another war shoot here. This is a giant one. Probably three, three and a half feet across. And what's interesting is that this war shoot feeds directly into another war shoot. You can see it's completely plugged. But if you look over here, you see the manway. Dropping down there, and the side of the ore chute right there. So the ore chutes were just feeding each other, which is interesting. Looking ahead, like I said, there's number eight. Lots and lots of ore chutes in this mine, I have to say. There's another one up there, and is that? Looks like it could be an ore cart even up there. Made our way from over there, and I just noticed as I was panning back, they had a pegboard here to mark the loads coming out. Sometimes I use dots and sometimes I use the pegboard like this. That is really cool. Huh. Won't be any loads coming on that one for a long time. Even the miner sealed that off. That, that's, in other words, it's plugged above this, but the miner has also sealed it off, so that was abandoned while well, the miner was still active. Of course, that would be supported by the closed sign. But that's not it for cool things, because that is indeed an ore cart. Or ore car. Miners get sensitive about the terminology sometimes. Some people say cart, some people say car. You know what I mean. off the rails probably been back here for a very long time 
Oh wow, look at that. Still has manufacturer's plate right there. That is amazing. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool. That is one of the best examples I've ever seen. Wow. That's really, really cool. A little workshop back here. You can see again, track and loads. Hercules Powder Company. I don't know if you can read that or not, because it's on tacked on the side, but it says Hercules Powder Company. There's a little uh oh I shouldn't say so little. Ore pass or stope dropping down there. There is ore shoot number 10. Also blocked off. Yeah, this they closed this up obviously when the mine was still active. And we're not done yet. Wow. I'll take another look at the ore car and then I'll keep going that way. Another angle on that ore car. See the lever on the side right there. And over here. Just seeing if there's anything in the back. There's the back. I was just seeing if it had any more stamps or plates or anything like that, but it doesn't. This one even still has its wheels. All too often people steal the wheels, which is annoying. But this one even has its wheels. Very, very cool. All right, I'll keep pushing and we'll see what else might be back there. The ore car is just around the bend to the left there. I've got a closed off ore chute here. Drift. A little ladder right there. Drift keeps running back that way, but it hits that complete collapse right there. And that does go all the way to the top, I checked. Not getting around that one. But I'm glad I pushed through the last one because that work card was really worth it. That's why, even if it looks like it's closed, you do have to check. Because otherwise you'd miss stuff like that and you really don't want to do that. Not with something like that. But yeah, see what I mean? It was timbered, but that has come down completely. Got an old bunkhouse connected to the mine here. Thought we'd go inside and check it out. Okay, cool. There's a ton of magazines in the, in the pantry. Yeah, there's a bunch of magazines over on this side too. Alright, I need a good battery. Oh, wow, so you got some unique artwork in this Yeah, one. some pretty, uh, pretty graphic artwork. They, they went all out. They did. They did go all out on the artwork. I have not been on this side yet, but I see I slept a fair number of guys here. This door is jammed. Looks like yeah, we're storing some ore in here. Or ore samples. And a bed in here, obviously. And a bunch of rock on the ground. Just messing up the light meter. Looks like this was the pantry. Interesting stuff. Another bed in here as well.
Here's 1979. I think the bunkhouse is older than 1979, but it's probably last occupied around that time. Catch the tail end of one of the uh, big commodity price booms.